you know, this is just a video response to, uh, you know, black Muslim man's uh, video about Arrow traders. And, um, you know, I just watched his video, even though it's quite an old video. Um, I just obviously, yeah, I love your videos, man. Um, I'm subscribed to your channel. I love watching what you do. Keep it up, bro. And, you know, I just wanted to comment because this is no doubt, you know, an interesting video. I see a lot of comments about this whole slave trade incident and all of this crap. I'm going to just break it down because I've seen a lot of all of these black nationalists and all of these cats saying, oh, the Arabs are this and the Arabs are that and why are you a Muslim? Because, you know, they, they enslaved your ancestors. I'm going to say something. Yeah. I'm going to say something. And, and the reality is, is that everyone did slavery. You know, slavery was a common trade throughout the world. Thousands, you know, everyone, blacks enslaved blacks. The Arabs did, you know, it on, on each other, you know. So everyone was involved in slave trade. No one escaped uh, slavery. No one was innocent. No ethnicity was, you know, in this world is is free from, was free from uh, being involved in this dirty, disgusting and barbaric industry. And it was a barbaric industry because it was an inhumane. It treated humans like animals, worse than animals. And, you know, to, to, to treat a human being, a human being like, uh, you know, trash and, you know, even, you know, the, the thing that these slaves had to go through was worse than, yeah, human rights. You know, it was utterly, you know, the way they were chained up, the way they were naked, the way they were whipped, the way they were, you know, it was just a horrific, you know, horrific time for a lot of these slave traders. And and the reality is is that you know you know, towns have moved on. You know, everyone did it and, and, and everyone apologized and, you know, people moved on. And of course, even though slavery hit Africans bad, Africans were was sort of the main continent that was hit by slavery the most because it was our people, you know, that the blacks were were you know were enslaved by the most. But as I said before, every, you know, everyone was involved in slavery. Now, in terms of, you know, the Arabs enslaving the Africans and all of that crap, yeah, you know, the Arabs were involved in slavery. Pre, we're talking about pre-Islamic, before Islam came into the scene and Islam was established in the Arabian Peninsula, you know, there was a lot of high rates of slavery and Arab traders used to keep slaves and, and, and sell them and, and you know, etc. Likewise with the white Europeans, the white Europeans did the same thing. But the reason is that, you know, and a lot of people bring up, oh, you know, Arabs started slavery first. Of course that's true, but, you know, that's nothing really good. But, you know, I, the slavery, in my opinion, that the Arabs did, was nowhere near the slavery that the white man did. The white man, the way they, you know, captured the slaves and the way they treated them was a hundred times worse. I mean, even certain during pre-Arabia, you know, the slaves weren't as treated badly, and that's a fact. And, you know, and to some degree, yeah, you know, uh, they were treated badly, but not. my main point is they weren't treated badly as, you know, the slaves in America, but again, no one wants to be a slave, you know, uh, however, you know, once Islam came into question, Islam was established after the 6th century, you know, 6th, 7th century, it's slavery, you yeah, know, was abolished, and, and this was, you know, slavery was abolished in the 7th century, you know, look how much it took slavery just to be abolished in the Western world. You know, it took at least the 20th or 16th or 17th century, it took at least 10 to 15 centuries later for slavery to be abolished. So for all of these cats talking about, you know, Arabs doing this and Arabs doing that, yeah, they did it. But when Islam came, you have to understand that when Islam came, all of these ignorant, barbaric acts stopped. And that. In seventh century, a religion that came and abolished it. It was still going on in the Western world. Uh, in the seventh, it wasn't abolished, and it was still an established trade.
and it's still an it wasn't abolished until the 19th century. Now, in terms of 18th century, 18th century, you know, in terms of you know, sorry for my yawning, I'm a bit tired. It's, you know, it's the morning, but anyway, let me carry on with the video. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, th th there was no doubt a massive trade between Africans and blacks. You know, and if you look at the history of 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 Arabs and, and Africans, there's no doubt history, economically and, and definitely the the, the 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 Africans benefited from the Arabs traders. However, you know the Arabs did try to create an economy in Africa, and there's no doubt about it. You can look at the history of that. Look at go to Oman, look at what Oman did. I think in uh, Zanzibar, yeah, in Zanzibar, you know what what Oman did. You know, created, uh, you know. Yeah, can sorry, but you know they created an economy. But you know, a lot, of, a lot of these cats that talk about you know Islam is you know you bow down. All of these black nationalists and all, of, you know, why you're Muslim and how can you be a Muslim? Listen, Islam is not about what the Arabs did and what they did. You know, God will judge them. You know, I don't care what they did. God will judge them. You know, Islam, you know, gets rid of slavery. And Islam forbids slavery. And of course, Muhammad had slaves, but it wasn't. It was more of an issue of servants. You know, it wasn't more. I wouldn't even call them slaves. They were servants that used to serve him, etc. And the Prophet did slay, did free a lot of slaves after Islam was established. It was carrying on for a bit, but after Islam was properly going, it was abolished. And a lot of these cats that talk about black nationalism and how can you do this and do me a favor. Islam is not about, you know, whether they did this. Because this, this happened thousands of years ago. But a lot of these cats, as you said, as the brother said, is, you know, they don't benefit the communities. They just sit there, you know, say, you know, they complain, they judge, they criticize. And, and it's pure hatred. And a lot of these black nationalistic cats, they preach the same garbage, the same nationalistic platform. But they don't benefit the black communities. Not Malcolm X and, you know, and they're still in their ignorant form. Or, you know, they blame all of these ethnicities. You know, they don't get out of their shell. They keep saying, oh, we have to keep with the black brothers and this and all of this garbage. That, in fact, it doesn't help black people. And, and, and my response to people that, you know, complain about certain nationalistic groups, you know, attacking you know, black Muslims for being, you know, practicing orthodox Islam and saying, you know, the Arabs did this and the Arabs did that. Who cares? It's thousands of, why does it bother you? You know? Was your ancestors affected? No, they weren't. You know? And and a lot of these cats, so why, and if you're so upset, why are you living in a white man's country? And you, you, you complain about the white man enslaved the Africans. Why are you living in a white man's country? No, why don't you go back and all of these sort of Afrocentric, all of these imbeciles that preach black nationalism, African, all of this garbage, you know, why don't you go to Africa? Why don't you, you know, why don't you move back to Africa? Why don't you help these African communities grow? But the reality is, is that a lot of these guys are in the same spot. They don't help, you know, they just bitch and they whine and they blame all of these other races and this is why the black race will never move forward. And all of these cats, you know, they complain about slavery and, and they don't move. We have to, and of course, slavery will always be something that has affected black mentality. But the reality is, is that we have to stop, you know, you know, basing our main theme on, you know, blaming other races and blaming the history and blaming that. And, and sort of playing the victim game and a sort of trying to use black people's emotions in order to cause racial divisions. But, you know, that's my main point. And, you know, stay tuned to my videos and subscribe. Peace out, Thinking Agents.